the the Promax uh, 360 BBC head doesn't already have a really good exhaust port, which it, it, it does right out of the box. Um, it's got an extremely tall short turn and what I like about it, uh, some of, now the, the later technology heads have that cant where it's, you know, canted valve. It does have a really good height. We got plenty of meat on the top. Uh, Mr. Blythe is going to be using a Zumi header. So one of the areas, a major area of restriction in the head is just like on the intake side in some spots where a bolt hole comes through. Right there is a head bolt. Now if you take your finger and you feel it, you're going to see a not a great big hump, but a decent hump. But when we go to putting that two and a half inch cut on it, it's going to go right into the bolt hole. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to tube the exhaust. We've already cut for the tubes on the intake. But now this is a horse of another color because it has to have a heat treated tube. And it has to have a decent more amount of press fit than the inside tube is because of the heat and all. So, why don't we zoom in here and try to get a little bit better look. Now, if you'll notice, the first drill that we're using is the core drill. Uh, on, on the uh, exhaust, I go a little bit closer. This is like a 491 decimal bit. And then we'll core drill all the holes, and then we go back with our reamer, which is uh, 499. And of course, the size of the tube can be 500 to 501. And you know how I press fit them. So let's go ahead. I'm going to reposition the camera a little different, and let's go ahead and core drill this thing. Hey. Okay. Here we go. We're going we're to do the plunge. Guess what? It did not go all the way through. The bit, the throw on this is so tall on the exhaust side and uh, that what I have to actually do is come over here and, and bring the, the drill bit in a little bit and, and everything and uh, just kind of drive on up a little bit. Okay. Now, you see how I've done it? I, I use that motion to do it and, and get it where it slides through. Then I'm going to lock the plate down. All right. Now I'm going to continue where I, where I picked off. And see right there is where I'm going to run right there. I'm going to barely touch off on the top of the valve cover. So that's going to be my limiting mark. Now what I got to do is lower the head back and make sure it cleared or I'll have to loosen the chuck and bring a little bit more drill bit out because man, that is a tall exhaust port. Okay, I'm going to uh, shut it off and then we're going to take a look at this before we go any further. Now that we've taken the core drill and hit all of them, which is one, two, three, four, now we've switched to a straight flute reamer, okay? This is going to carry it to a thousandths or two thousandths under the tube size so I can sand roll and get it the preferred tightness or crush that I want. So uh, I, I'm out of uh, drilling oil right now, so a little trick. I just shot a little bit of WD-40 on there since it's aluminum so that it won't gall up on me and cut a straighter hole. So let me get you a better position. This is probably going to be a little bit better view. And um, I'm getting ready to run that straight flute uh, reamer down there. And I'll have to do it in, in two steps as well because of the I'm going to walk by you. Uh, because of the of the throw. Uh, this being a tall head, you gotta really be careful. See, look, it's grab. You just gotta get it exactly right in the spot doing it with a drill press like this. All right, here we go. All right, now what I'll do is I'll come over here and loosen my bed up a little bit. I just keep the 
you know, the chuck in there because that way it keeps it from moving around too much. But now I got to come on up. I tell you, it is a it is a little bit of a job when you're doing it with one of these. I, but I managed to hit them straight every time without a problem, mostly. All right. Okay, so I'm going to reposition it and we're going to hit uh, carry out the bottom part. Now that I got it oh, positioned, me and my big feet, um, I'll go ahead and uh, run the second pitch through make sure that it clears. I Sometimes I leave a little step in there on this so that it won't drop too, but on this one I'm not. Alright, ready? Alright! Now that's uh, pretty much it. I got that ring through. Of course, uh, I'm going to show you, but y'all know the next step. You've been with me a little while. So the next step, of course, is going to be uh, taking the tube and a sand roll and custom fitting this thing. But I am going to go in here. I'll let you see how.